Hey, so tomorrow is a full moon in Cancer, which is all about your emotions blasting wide open for you to feel those feels. So I did a little reading for you for the full moon in Cancer. So I asked the tarot, what is the present emotion for us to be looking at at this time that the moon is shining a light on? And I got five of cups. Five of Cups is often a breakup card or a grief card. So this is about you completing some grief work that is still not been fully processed. I asked Tarot, how can we care for this grief during the full moon? And I got Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is like, don't run from those feelings. We got to feel those feelings. We have got to go deep as well as maybe creatively express those feelings. So if you do a little collage or art, this is the time to do it. I then asked, um, what, what is the past wound that is really resurfacing uh, that this emotion is talking about? And I got the tower, which makes a lot of sense with Five of Cups because the tower is the card of things ending and also things ending that have a trauma response to them, things that were not within your control necessarily and how that often will get stuck into a hypervigilant state. And then we need to process that and heal that, which is so important uh, for the full moon and cancer. And you're getting that universal energy that's really lending oomph to that process. Then I asked, um, because full moon in Kansas is also about home and safety, uh, what sanctuary can I call upon at this time? Where can I go to do this work? And interestingly, I got four of cups. So four of cups traditionally means reevaluation. But what I think it's meaning is your sanctuary is in a place that you maybe dismissed out of hand or you don't appreciate or is old and dusty or someone's house you don't like, there actually may be a place for you there to do this work, believe it or not. I then asked, how can I tap into my intuition to help me process all of this? And we got the high priestess, which is all about divination work, mysteries work, really listening to the universal message. And then finally, um, what, as a result of doing this work, how do I move into the rest of the month outside of the full moon? And I got the sun, which is beautiful. You do the work. And you're going to come out of this feeling so much better. So take good care of yourself during the full moon in Cancer.